So today we're going to be doing a review on Unify Money. We're going to be talking about the pros and the cons when using this service. Now, this account is an all-in-one where you can get a checking account, stock market, crypto, and even into precious metals. So if you're going to be interested as we go along with this list, I'll have a link for you in the show notes down below if you'd like to sign up help support out the channel, but it also does get you a nice little bonus when signing up. Now, one of the great pros when it comes to using the checking account is you actually earn interest on your money while it's sitting in your account. And the best part too as well is that it is FDIC insured up to $750,000. So even more than the typical amount that you get in a traditional bank. Now, one of the cons when it comes to using the service is that it is available only in the US. So you do have to make sure that you are a citizen here, as well as making sure that you are over 21 years of age to be able to open up an account. Now, when it comes to using the checking account, you get a free debit card so you can spend the money that's in that account. You can also use that debit card to withdraw money from ATMs entirely for free, as well as different features like bill pay, you even can deposit checks from the mobile device, as well as even ordering checks so you can pay things like rent. Now, Unify Money also does utilize Plaid as a way to connect different bank accounts together, so that way you can have instant connection and start making your transfers from different accounts into Unify Money. Now, when it comes to the stock portion of Unify Money, if you are somebody who wants to be self-directed in your stocks and ETFs, it is entirely commission-free. But if you're somebody who maybe doesn't prefer to do it all yourself, they actually do have robo-advisors with annual fees starting at 0.15%. Now, one of the little downsides when it comes to using Unify Money is that they actually don't have mutual funds, but they do have ETFs if you want to follow index funds. Now, a great pro when it comes to using the app for stocks is that you can actually get into fractional shares, which lets you buy stocks with as little as $1 into massive companies. So if you want to get into something like Apple or Tesla or even Google, you can do that with just $1 and start getting your money working for you. Now, one of the cons is that there are account fees, but you can get these fees waived just like any other bank, depending on how much you have coming into your account on a regular basis, as well as how much is actually in your account at any given time. So those fees can be waived, no problem, but just something to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to the crypto side of things, there are over 26 different cryptos that you could be buying into, as well as 13 different stable coins as well. So one of the downsides is the Android version of the app is actually still in the works to come out later in 2021. So currently it's available just on iOS. And there's actually currently no desktop version as of this recording. So one of the other really cool pros when it comes to using Unify Money is the precious metals market that you get access to. You can be buying gold, silver, and platinum. And the really cool thing with gold is you can actually be buying in fractional shares just like you can with stocks like we talked about earlier. So if you want to put in just a couple bucks into gold, you can do so without having to buy the full price point of gold. Now, Unify Money also does have a lending option available for you. So if you need to get a car loan, a home loan, maybe student loan refinance, or even a credit card, all of that is also available for you in the app all in one. Now, one little downside when it comes to using the app, like we mentioned earlier, was the interest rate. Now, the interest rate is, of course, a little bit higher than traditional banks, but it is still fairly low. So one thing I do want to mention is when opening up a Unify Money account, there is a $100 deposit minimum required. But I mean, it is a financial app, so having money deposited into the account shouldn't be too big of a deal as that money can start being used for the different services that they offer. Now, another great thing when using Unify Money is when you sign up with the link in the show notes down below, you can actually get a nice promotion where you can get up to $1,000 into Bitcoin. There are tiers of how much you can put in and how much you can get in Bitcoin, but it is all entirely free for using that link. So like I mentioned, Unify Money is an all-in-one type of app, making things so much easier for you without having to go to so many different services. You got your checking, you got your stocks, you got your crypto, you got your precious metals, and you can even do loans directly in the app. Now, I actually want you to click on this next video right over here so you can keep on learning for your financial future. My name is Dennis, and I'll see you in that next video.